Welcome back. So good to have you with us on WKYT. The largest outdoor show for American Saddlebreds is celebrating 80 years. The Lexington Junior League Charity Horse Show will start next Monday. And Katie Ross, event chair and Meredith Moody, publicity chair, here to talk more about it. Welcome in. It's such a significant year for this event. Big milestone. Right? It is. We're celebrating our 80th anniversary at the Red Mile. Um, to be in one venue for that long is great, and we're, we're very excited to be back there. It really is incredible. What is it that makes uh, the, the show so special? Well, I'll let Katie talk about the horse stuff. <laughs> okay. Um, it's the world's largest outdoor saddlebred show, and it's, it's a tradition that means a lot to both the exhibitors and the Lexington community. Um, we have events all week long for people that aren't as interested in the horse portion of the event, but also we have um, competitors that are coming from all over the world and all over the country to, to show here. And Meredith, what about yeah. the money raised? The money raised, well, the Lexington Junior League just last year alone gave $30,000 away to six to 12 nonprofit local agencies. So when you come out to the horse show, you are supporting the league and we're supporting the community. So lots of fun things to do. And uh, the, many of those organizations are really dependent on this, uh, this funding, aren't they? Oh, absolutely. Our ladies in the league volunteer with the organizations and we hear every time thank you so much for the grant thank you so much for your support so it means a lot to us so Katie what can people expect in terms of the actual show and uh, the different types of uh Horse things they can see. Okay, um, the they're seeing some of the best saddlebreds in the in the world competing here. Um, they have uh, riding classes. They have cart classes. They have fine harness classes. Um, also, when you come to the show, Monday night we open on the 4th of July. It's our family night. There will be pony rides and um, a stick horse race for the kids. And then we have other really fun events throughout the week. And if yeah. someone has never been, I mean, it is, it's different, right? I mean, you really have, uh, uh, you need to be very respectful of what's going on on the track because it can be uh, quite uh, intriguing to watch, right? <laughs> it can be, for sure. Um, I'm, I'm lucky that I've grown up showing horses, so I'm mm -hmm. used to it. But it's a beautiful backdrop. You're at the historic Red Mile, and then you have the um, backdrop of downtown behind you also and you know be quiet during the class but afterwards cheer for the horses and, and they they feed off the energy of the crowd as well yeah and it's a nice excuse to dress in your lily pulling <laughs> yes exactly right. I yeah. tell folks I you know I love horses but I don't know what's going on I go out there for the shopping the food love friends it. I get a group of girlfriends and yes. we all go have fun it's so all about the atmosphere it's for families it's for horse people it's for people that just want to check it out and if people <laughs> want to go tickets how tickets do they get those? yes tickets are at the door so it's um Five dollars general admission Monday through Thursday, and uh, ten dollars Friday and Saturday. Nice. LexJRLeague.com for more information about the show and all the good work you do through the year. Thanks for coming. Thank, Thank you for you. having Thank you. Me. Thank you. All right, into the afternoon we go, and that uh, sticky, hot weather is continuing, at least right now. At least right now, we're going to catch a break from yeah. it. That's going to be the nice no stuff. Doubt. And with that sticky, hot, nasty stuff out there, it helps trigger showers and thunderstorms, and that's what we have out there right now. And, and keep in mind, when you get in this type of situation uh, with the atmosphere, with a big front coming through like we're going to have, it can and will ignite some stronger thunderstorms and some heavy rain producers. And that's going to be something I think we will run into here as we progress uh, through the rest of the uh, afternoon afternoon and into the evening, but once it gets out of here, we are in much better shape. Look at that seven-day forecast. Look at 84 for a high. Look at 79. We're already at 84 right now, keep in mind, right at this moment. Mm -hmm. So that's all we get out of Tuesday, and then upper 70s, low 80s toward the middle of the week. Cool overnight lows. It's going to be really nice. Refreshing. Yeah. That'd be great, <laughs> yes. Well, we want to thank you so much for being with us for WKYT News at Noon. The Young and the Restless is coming up next, but first... We leave you with the sounds of this week's Woodsongs Kid. A 12 year old from Carbondale, Illinois. Here's award winning fiddler Beth Davis. Enjoy. Enjoy.